which we have handled, which we have seen with our eyes, round again. This is the word of truth. We have not followed cunningly devised fables. We were eyewitnesses of this thing. We walk in Bible, but we have seen the Lord. Our eyes have seen the Lord. I don't know about you. When you have become a supernatural Christian, God gets into you and starts walking himself. He no longer leads. He is now Ayakara. 100 percent true. I saw German written on your forehead like German. 15 October. Yes. 1981. Yes, do it. Yes, so you know me and you know everything. <laughs> if I be a prophet of God, miracle money now. Declared miracle money. There's 55,000 in his bank account. How much is this? But supernatural weight loss. Somebody who is sick can just be healed like that. Yes. This is the good news we preach. A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction. And always worth hearing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You can do better than that. For the one who sits in the circumference of himself, one you can't live without and you can't outlive. The one the old preacher said, no far seeing telescope can bring into visibility the coastline of his straw supply. You can't vote him in, you can't vote him in out. You can't impeach him and he is not going to resign. Our God is majest on high. He is bigger than every king, than every president, than everyone. Are you ready for something? Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, in this minute, in this hour, increase us mightily and let the word take root as in the days of Ephesus. So mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. We pray today that that word will prevail over our circumstances, over cancer, over sickness, over every circumstance that we will not be under the circumstances, but over the circumstances. By the power of the Almighty God, we decree and declare, even today is a testimony Sunday. More testimonies now, in this minute, this time. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. How many are ready? The book of Luke chapter number 4. And I will read from verse number 14. The Bible says it this way. Are you still here? Are you still here over here? The Bible says, and he returned in the power. Notice, and Jesus returned in the power of the spirit into Galilee. Ah. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. In other words, the power of returning is stronger than the power of going. Let me explain this because, you see, this generation we are in has become the most powerless, yet the most equipped. In the days of Moses, he would pick up even soil it would become insects. You would pick up a stick and it would become a snake. This is in the Old Testament. Yet we are more powerful than the Old Testament and we can't do nothing. 
I speak to somebody now. <laughs> Remember how the Bible says, what happened to you, Jordan, that you ran away? Jordan, listen, started flowing in a different direction when the power came to it. Now the Bible says it this way. When Jesus went somewhere, he returned in the power of the Spirit. So there is a power of returning. But that power of returning is only available to those who understand how to master the power of going. I'm talking to myself now. You, I wish I had just few people here who understand what is locked in the power of going. The reason why you do not have the power is because you never went. The Bible says, and he returned. In order to return, he should have gone. Ah, Lizovoria tilaka anfra adia profref. Zelua shutale girande karata parasko for huskes. How it is possible, that says the spirit, how it is possible that if you could only listen to what I'm saying now, it will not take you a day. You will master the art of going in order to get the power of returning. We are living in a generation that has not understood where to go and how to go. So they never return. Power is only available. Tell, to your, tell your neighbor, power is only available. To those who are returning. But for them to return, they must have gone somewhere. Now you're not hearing what I'm trying to say now. For you to be a luminary in the spirit, a territorial commander, when you hear us say, prophets have nothing to fear. Mm, there is nothing to fear about us. We are territorial commanders, territorial spirits. Remember the time I was in the HICC and a lady appeared weighing about 150, I believe, 150 some. Yeah. And we had all these carols and I began to talk to the lady. I spoke to her weight. And right there, she was 90 kgs from 150. Now, in Namibia, in the, in the stadium in Namibia, a lady was standing there. What happened? Remember what happened? The ushers could not even announce the miracle. Why? Because her undergarments fell when she lost weight. From 150 to 90 kilograms, that's 60 kgs. There are some here who weigh 55 kgs, 60 kgs, 59, 42. That means in one minute, a whole human being was lost. Listen, you can disappear in a minute. I, uh, <laughs> it is a small thing for God to make one man disappear, one lady disappear. By the wrath of God, one person can disappear. I know I'm not talking to you right there, but I have to talk to those who are, who are watching now. If 60 kgs can disappear. And you, my sister, my brother, you are 58 kgs. Walk nicely with God, you can disappear in a minute. They would be wondering where you went. But that power can only be obtained by people who went. Because power belongs to people who returned. But for it to for it to return with you, you have to know where to go. 
The Bible says, and they prayed. Are you still here? Somebody, those around the world, says they prayed. And the house that they were in was shaken by the power. We were College of Music College in Araro here. Preaching there, and I said, do not worry. And smoke was covering the whole place. We were 120 to be exact. Smoke covered, how many were there at that time? 120 people were in there. Smoke everywhere. The fire brigade came. Looking for smoke. The people I was in, in there were like, we need to get out the smoke. I said, this is not the smoke you think. They will see it out there. But it's not the one that they are looking for. They came look for the whole room. I was just smiling there. Why? There is a certain fire, my brothers and sisters. A certain power obtained by only people who can, who retain with power. And in order to retain with power, you have to go with power. In the days of Smith Wigglesworth, he would minister and pray. And the moment you would start praying, the whole church would run out of the, of the building. So scared. Smoke would fill the whole room. People would run away from the smoke. After he says amen, they come back in church. The days of Edwards. How the man was filled by providential grace. That as he would be sitting like this and he start talking about going to hell. People would hold on to their chairs for fear of literally falling into hell. Now you're not hearing me so I need to go now because I can't hear you in the balcony there. I can't hear you. How is it that this man had power? They would just talk about hell. The same hell you discuss at home and nothing happens. But they would talk about hell. Not even putting fear into it. No special effects. Nothing. Just utter the word hell and people would sit in their seats this shaking holding on to dear life fearing hell would open up and they would be swallowed what is in their hands tell your neighbor it is the power of retaining but for you to return you need to have gone la shopro tavara telegu kayen efroniga la kusa pra ativa la unskes and the Bible tells me of Jesus. Imagine the Bible says, and they prayed. And the house that they were in was shaken by the power. But notice when Jesus began to pray, what happened is he prayed in a mountain. And he came down. And power was loaded into him. That a man with a withered hand was healed. Leprous disappeared. After that, the Bible tells us he, he retreated. Why? Power was gone. He needed to recharge. Aye. Brothers and sisters, you need to know where to go to recharge. Then he would come back, Jesus would come back and go to Peter's mother-in-law. Healed her and retreated. Jesus knew. <laughs> I need a certain location to retreat. I need a certain location. Because the power of retaining is in the silence. This is what I'm teaching you here. Is the supernatural power of silence. You see. Let me tell you something. There is a power in an area where you are silent with God only. Because the Bible says in the book of Isaiah. God who hides himself. Ah. Says the God who hides himself. So the God who hides himself is only found by those who hide themselves. When last did you hide? When last did you go in your own location to hide? When last? After Jesus came down and healed Peter's mother-in-law. The Bible says he went to a mountain and he began to pray. He retreated and came back in power. What did he do next? The Bible says, and he healed all who were sick. All, not one was left feeble. All who were sick. Why? The power of retaining. 
And the Bible says he went to a mountain and he, when he came down, they said they sought to touch him and he retreated, he ran away. They wanted to just touch him and he ran away. Why? He knew there was the place he needed to recharge. Your problem, my sister, my brother, you have no place where you hide. Everyone is your friend. Don't be everywhere. You see, I saw it in my life that at one time I was so busy doing God's work, I had no time for God. Well, you, you're not hearing me. I wish you could understand that there is a time where you can be so busy doing God's work, you are actually not having enough time for God. You can be so busy preaching one conference to another, but there is no time for you with God. And mistakes are bound to happen when that happens. It's not because you are evil. It's because you have no time for yourself with God. Just you two. I learned the power of silence from my father, Pastor Chris. I learned it. Because me as a prophet, if you talk, I talk. If you challenge me, I challenge you back. And I win every time. Trust me on it. I have the art of making my enemies think they have just won. Then I wait. Then I show them another flip mode. I give you that same power now in the name of Jesus. You will surprise your enemies by the power of silence. And the Bible says he came down and a woman touched the hem of his garment. Touched. And notice the word touched there is the word hapto. It means to ignite with fire. He had so much power that when the woman touched, there was fire. Why? The Bible tells us that this same woman, by the same power, this same woman, by the same power, she kept on saying, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, she kept on saying it, she kept on saying it, she kept on saying it. Where? When she had nobody near her. Why? Because the Bible tells us when, when you have something like this, they would put you away so you won't be among people. So she had time to be alone. Turn to your neighbor and say, you are talking to, to too many people. You can say to the other neighbor, you are saying to too, you are speaking to too many people. Too many people talking to you. You can stand where you are there and people say, who is the best friend of your man of God? Zero. What about your woman of God? Who is your best friend? Zero. Our lives are brilliant. We can have sisters and brothers but never best friends. Turn to your neighbor again and say, friends, friends are overrated. Your friend now, as I'm talking to you now, is your next enemy. Your enemy now is your former friend. I decree and declare to somebody, the power of silence shall be with you in the name of Jesus. You shall see brilliant stuff happening all over. Miracles will begin to take place. Hear this now. Hear this. After Jesus, you can take your seats. After Jesus came in that power, the Bible tells us that the woman tried to touch the hem of her garment and grabbed it. And power was released. Why? Jesus had just gone to a certain area of silence. How many of you can really dedicate your life to a life of silence? The Bible says a fool speaks all that is in your heart. <laughs> a wise man keeps his tongue. But a foolish one will release everything in your mind, in his mind. Everything. 
That's why the wise man runs when trouble is seeking him. But the foolish one goes after the trouble. It's your mouth that is killing you. There is a level of silence. Something you cultivate. After Jesus healed everybody, touched by the hem of the garment, he went up to the mountain again. And guess what? A few hours later, he was walking on water. He knew the power to do this one has to be gotten in a secret location. There is power in silence. You see, when we come to you saying we are fixing your problem, we are assured by the silence we created. Now you're not getting me. I said, we are assured by the silence we create. Because you didn't see me on Monday, that's why I have power. You didn't see me on Tuesday, that's why I still have power. You didn't talk to me on Monday, that's why I have power. There is a secret location I go to. If you get to our good news city now, there is an altar somewhere I go to. When I call it an altar, I don't call it an altar the way others are now preaching altars. No. It's just a location I pray in. When did you locate your own prayer altar? When last were you in that silent location? A private location where you only can empower you. Right now as I'm talking about prayer right now, your life is like, it's like I'm talking about a foreign language. Your prayer life is two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. And some of you just came here so that I can say money is coming to you. Yes. I'm here to create a church where you don't need a preacher. You come to church only to hear what you heard as a confirmation. I don't want a church that depends on me. <laughs> see, see, I'm about to say something controversial. I don't want a church that depends on God. Now right there, I know a lot of people are going to cut that one. You, say, you, see, you see what he's saying now? I want a church that has depended on God to a point now they are using the power that is available to them by divine provision. God has already given you the power. Now you are acting it. I feel there is somebody here. Now hear this. Hear this. Silence it's not that when you get into that location, you are silent. No, sir. Ah. Ah. Give me this chair. It's all right. Now, you see, your problem is you have a monologue with God. You don't have a dialogue with God. I see a lot of people. If I say pray now, that's brilliant but when you are in your house pray you wait you sit down just wait he might say something you, you're not getting me. I said, he, he might just. Otherwise, you are in a monologue. Prayer is a dialogue. Wait a minute to just hear something from him. Sometimes you should have listening sessions. I prayed for two hours. Thank you, sir. I prayed for five hours. Thank you, ma'am. But how many minutes did you spare for listening to what he said? I wish I could talk to somebody now. Segment your prayer. Now I'm going to pray for that thing. Ratila Bahayo. Verusakira Tulema Dragila. Go for whatever. You see, sometimes you can, how, but prophet, how would I know? He has answered. 
That's why there is something called a knot of victory. Just, just, just. A, a knot of victory. If you master what we call spiritual data, hey, hey, hey. You, you, you master the cause of the spirit. As you are praying, Ratukaba, Resupre Ephraasa Kayaka, Plerusata. There is a time you know, you, you know, you, you have gotten to a lock in the spirit. You, you know what I mean, a lock in the spirit. When you can't, when you can't go past a certain syllable in tongues. Ah! Praktela Gaga. You, you are looking now for. A syllable, another syllable in the spirit to go to. You go gaga. Gaga. Praktela gaga. Go, go to another one. No, no, no. Gaga. Praktela gaga. 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 Say, say. Is that all you have? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been trying to reach other notes, but I'm just ending on gaga. 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 That's a signal from the spirit. Sit down. I'm about to talk. I wish I could talk to somebody now. I don't know if you are there. There is a signal. You know I can't go past this one. Have you ever prayed and you realize you are now asking for the same thing? You are inciding. And the only name that is coming is Sarah. Sarah. Father bless Sarah. You are looking for another name. You, you Sarah. You say, why is this Sarah coming? Is that Sarah God wants to talk about? Put a note and say, God, I'm listening. Tell me about this Sarah now. Tell me about this Sarah now. Why? That's where you are getting now. Chords in the spirit. Sit down. When you, when you get to that chord in the spirit, now you're calling one person. Keep doing it. Don't even stop. You get to a point where you start laughing. Even you, you laugh at yourself like, what? Is this, is this all I'm praying for? Is this all? Now, that's, it is what is called a knot of victory. Now you are getting the point where you know, this one is done. I said, this one is done. Do you know what? I never get moved. If at all, I get wind of some lies my enemies are saying. Do you know why I never get moved? Because when I was in the God city, the good news city is called the God city. When I was in the God city, I prayed for five minutes for this problem, for 20 minutes for this one, for 30 minutes in advance. So my prayer bank is full. So when I walk in the street like this and they say, um, something is wrong. I'm like, oh, who is saying what? Oh, they are saying, man of God, this and that. I say, oh, I fixed them yesterday in prayer. I'm not responding to this one. I wish I could talk to somebody. We are in advance. Say, so what about, what about I'm going to, I'm going to work on Monday. I, I need to apply for a job. I have an interview. Don't worry. Just go there. Repala you get in there you get in there and you might find that there are there are hundred people who are actually we have actually applied for the job don't worry now don't pray for you to get a job now pray for the other 99 they've already lost that job your problem is you're going to interviews now, who, who wants to get a job? Let me. Your, your problem is you are attending interviews. No. If they call you, well, just go sit down. The manager is in front of you. You sit down and say, um, is your name uh, Susan? Say, yes, sir. When can I start? You're not hearing me. So. When is this starting? They say, no, but you have not done the interview. They say, no, 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 I'm already working. I'm ready because we don't have time. 
so you're wasting your time. This is all 99 have already failed. This is my job. You will say that the interviewer will ask you, how, how are you this confident? Don't go there and say, yeah, my prophet told me or this one told me. Say, the spirit of the Lord told me when I was sitting there that this is my company. I work here. <laughs> I'm teaching you calls in the spirit based on a silent power. You go to the house, to the family of the great apostle Babalola from Nigeria, who, you know, of blessed memory. How every, I believe it's every three hours or every two hours, they ring a bell. Ding, ding. To this day, the man is dead. They ring a bell. Even if you are a visitor, you stand up. The person you are talking to starts going, La Rabba Hashakaba, for an hour, sit down. You discuss, you play. Two hours later, dun, forever. They've been doing it. Since the days of Babalola when he was alive. They are still ringing a bell. Why? They are retreating into a secret location. <laughs> hey! They are retreating. When will you retreat? I said, when will you retreat? Let me show you something. Parasofrekal. The book of Samuel. The book of Samuel. The book of Samuel. Marate Guskekai. First Samuel 7, verse number 16. First Samuel 7, verse number 16. And he went from year to year. Mm. Are you here? In second to Bethel. This is Samuel. To Gilgal and to Mizpah and judged Israel in all those places. The men would run from, from Bethel to Gilgal to Mizpah. Bethel is just the house of God. Mm, mm, mm. You would think that's where he's getting the power. No, sir. Let's go. And his return was to Rama. In fact, let's go into the NIV. From year to year, he went on a second from Bethel to Gilgal to Mizpah and judging Israel in all those places. Listen to this. But he always went back to Ramah. Always. Aye. Always went to the good news city. Always the God city. Always, always. There is always a location where you go to in order to return with power. The why, the why's and the and the house are sorted at Rama. <laughs> Most of you don't understand these things. Men of old, renowned men of God, that understood the power of God, always went to a location. For me to come back here and know your name, I can do it from no. From no, it's, it's my calling. I can do it any minute. But for me to call you and be able to prophesy what it is that you want, and then for that to happen, notice here, most prophets have only one advantage, and there are very few prophets. Huh? All these names, prophet, prophet, is all a lie. The Bible says he made some, and the word some there it actually means few. So now everyone is a prophet now. Someone saw us driving a Lamborghini and thought, yeah, you know, if you want to drive a Lamborghini, just be a prophet. <laughs> now they're in there with no Lamborghini, not even a Toyota. Listen to me. The advantage that you do not see is when we speak and say your name is John, you are like this, you come from this location, there is this problem. You see, most prophets only have this testimony where a man stands and says, is is what the prophet said, was it correct? Nobody follows to see if the things that they were saying came to pass. This is where the problem is. Ah, you are not hearing me. Even around the world, you are hearing me now. Nobody follows. Some people say, oh my God, he's so powerful, he prophesied. 
Yeah, but did it happen? <laughs> so that the testimonies are now for the details that he mentioned. I'm a man transformed. You see, it's very difficult to be under Pastor Chris and not be transformed from one area to the other. It's very difficult. And you see, I started doing something that even next year, you will see it, even this year, it has already taken place. Where I take my time, even a month, and I'll fly in here to minister, like here. I just, a few weeks ago, I was with him again. Just a few weeks ago, I was with him. And what happens is, I go there as my retreat. Let me explain to you something. I didn't look for Pastor Chris because I just wanted to look for Pastor Chris. I didn't even look for Pastor Chris for you. No. You're not getting me. I wasn't doing it for you. The Lord showed us way back. And prophetess can tell you, she would call every week without fail to try and meet him for over a year. Uh -uh. Those phone calls did not yield nothing. I would call too. No, we didn't get that access. Because that wasn't the access. And I thank God I didn't get that access at that time. I was too immature. My pampas were going to fall off. I had no realization that what you need is the way that the man is ministering. The revelation he has is what you need. You want to get you human angel? Get him behind the pulpit, not after the service. I know I'm talking to somebody now. I, I get people, not people with ministries. I understand people with ministries. But I get people who say, men of God, just mentor me, please. People with ministry, I can understand. But people who say, mentor me, please, just, just mentor me, I'm thinking. This is it. I had three hours of free mentorship. I'm ministering every time here. I'm pouring out what is inside of me. And I assure you, if you give me six months of your life, of listening to these messages, applying them, you will never be broke another day in your life. It's not possible. It's not possible. I've seen it. I've tried to be broke myself. Poverty got broken in the, in the process. I can never be broke another day in my life. I can't. I cannot be. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, but me, I'm broke. No, you, you can never be broke. Let's go, friend. Let's go. Okay. All right, you're not getting me. You can never be broke another day in your life. Let me explain to you. Like I, said be, like I said before, your body doesn't know it's in Zimbabwe now, right now. You are the one who told it. Your body doesn't know you are broke. You can never know a straight line until you see a crooked one. In other words, you have to see somebody richer than you for you to know this is not rich. This is rich. I went to my father's house. And we had just purchased a house somewhere for two million pounds. And now, listen, this was a cash purchase. Now, 
prophetess is dealing with the tiling of the place. We need to do this and we need to do that and we need to do that. I went to my father's house. Uh, and I'm waiting for him to, to arrive. And as I sat there, I said, look, let me just go and freshen up. Because I had sat there for quite some time. I got into the toilet. The toilet. The toilet. I know you want me to say restroom. The toilet. I got to the, listen, I got to the front desk. Now, you see, see, I'm talking about a house, right? Front desk, maybe six, seven people on the phones like this. Putting them down. Receptionist, security. House, not office, house. I started asking, is this an um, office? They said, no, it's his house. I said, hey. Hmm. I sat there thinking, I'm looking at the sofas, I'm looking at the tires. I said, what is this? I looked at it, I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. house? Then I got into the toilet. When I got in the toilet, I just stopped by the, by the, by the door. I opened it like this, and a certain music came out. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Everything they starts moving. The toilet is opening. The, the tape is moving a little bit. Oh, I left it alone. I'm like, leave this thing alone. I went back into the sitting room. I called my wife. I said, baby, you need to change the tires that you are buying there. She was buying Versace tires. I said, leave them. Find another one. This, what we are seeing here, is in the toilet. <laughs> Somebody under the influence of my voice. There is a secret location. That brings prosperity power. <laughs> if you master the art of going, you will return with power. The problem is you're not going anywhere. Where is that location where you go and collect power? Where? Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> he returned with power. Hmm. You have no idea what power can do. And you have no idea what silence can do. Let me tell you something. You talk too much. Since the time, listen to this. Since the time you started praying. Tell me the time you also stopped and listened. Your God doesn't talk. You just talk. It's a monologue. God this, God that, God this, God this, God this. And you never give God time to say, uh, I heard what you said. Now this is what is going to happen. You read the Bible, you realize, and then God spoke to Moses. And then God spoke to Ezekiel. And God spoke to this one. And God spoke to this one. When is he going to speak to you? I don't know. God doesn't speak. No, God speaks. You just don't give time to listen. You, you don't have time that you listen. Where God has got the chance to even talk. Ah, but God, I, you know, I've tried, you know. I'm not that kind of trying where you're walking like this. You just like. I know you. Sometimes when I'm prophesying, I can see people going like, I think they think they can just catch a wave. Even when I say, but they're in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing. You see people going like,
Say, these eyes you see, there are, there are other eyes that were developed in the secret location. I wish I could talk to somebody now. I said there is a secret location. A place where power is manufactured. <laughs> ah, men of power. When I go to Nigeria, the whole meeting is done and people peck and go home. Listen, people peck, they go home. We finish maybe around 9 p.m. Right? And people are going home. And pastor will come to us and say, now, we're coming back at um, 10. For what is called sailing. Sailing. I remember I was standing next to one of my sons in there. And they had done one sailing session. And when pastor said, you can all go home. And everyone is like, oh, oh, you know, they're excited to go home waiting. And he gave the announcement for the following day. And as my father gave the announcement for the following day, uh, my son elbowed me and said, Papa, hope there is no sailing. I said, ah, <laughs> hope there is no sailing. <laughs> then when you finish, you know, no, not this, not this prayer points of yours that you take two minutes. We pray for this. No, 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 no. Pastor will say, now, those who are left, you, you, and you, we are now praying for America. Then he puts his hands behind his back like this. You can't hear what he's saying. <laughs> Over an hour. I'm already on China. <laughs> what am I praying for? Of America? All I know about America is finished. <laughs> then the next prayer request is China. I'm like, ah, I finished it. <laughs> the whole world was done. Swaziland. <laughs> there are men who have a decorum in the spirit. They know the decorum in that time of silence. They know. They know what to say. And words come to them to be demand to, to, demand to be spoken. So as they want to stop that prayer, the Lord gives them other avenues. They go, and they're speaking in the spirit. You see, the problem is this. When you speak in a silent location, here is your problem. You do not visualize. If I'm sitting here, I'll, I'll give you examples you know. So if I'm speaking like this, and I'm praying for, let's just give a, Maybe I, I want a new house or I want to go to a, or I want a house I don't even have any. I'm not going, Father, I need a house, Father. No, the Lord said, I, I will answer before they pray. So this is a useless prayer to ask now. Oh, they didn't get it. I don't pray for money. I don't. Money is the most useless thing to be put on a prayer request or prayer list. You can't make money a prayer point. Something sinners get for free without praying. You get it through prayer. You're, you're joking. Raselo jenkro atale. Sevura ankla eruta yilo kromfren na onkas kaid. As I'm doing this, eh, I'm looking, I'm seeing a car arriving. I'm visualizing the type of car I like, even the color. Now, you are just saying, Father, I need a car in the name of Jesus. Your brain is blank now. No, visualize that color. Visualize the car. Visualize the day you receive it. See yourself receiving it. See yourself, ah, ah. I know you youngins, you want to post on, on Instagram. See yourself with it on Instagram. My new right. I know you. I know what you want. There's nothing bad about this. The Bible says, let your profiting appear to all. If your all is on Instagram, post it, baby. I don't just walk like, 
like, uh, no, I see where it is. Just a few days ago, a few days, few, maybe two, three weeks ago, I, I'm praying, I'm seeing it. Prophet said, uh, I'm visiting Zimbabwe and we need more cars there. I said, okay. If we need more cars, no problem. I wasn't thinking of where to get the money or where to take the money or what account to go and withdraw money. Never. I just knew they were going to come from somewhere. I'm sitting down there. I'm hearing it. Cars is coming. Cars are coming. Cars are coming. Cars are coming. No, 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 no. I begin to pray. You know, see, this prayer is done in silence. When I say in silence here, I'm not talking about you're quiet. No, you don't have anyone around you disturbing you. No, I'm visualizing it. After I visualize it, that same night, I'm seeing my mother who went home to be with the Lord. She says, because of what you have done, the Lord will give you houses, cars for free, everything. Not that they are not coming home. No. More. Hear this. I left that place. I went with Pastor Felix to another location. And I looked at this car. It was a Lexus. One of these, the most beautiful that they, they have right now, new ones. Yes, I think sir. here they cost about 300,000 US dollars. Yes, about 300,000. Profit. I, I said, take a photo. He took a photo. Took a photo in front. I said, do a, a small video. I just want to look at it as I'm on my way to, to the the good news city. I want to look at it. Just looking at the video. They said this one is zero miles. Not even a mile. Zero miles. I arrived at the good news city. I sat down. My son who is in the choir there came to me and said, dead, hey, there he is. He said, that I, I, I'm not prophesying to you but I saw in a dream someone giving you a car. I said, you are talking. That's what we've been talking right now. That's true, and, Baba. And That's with true, the Lord. Baba. Guess what? Five minutes later, on my phone, I'm sitting with these guys on my phone with the rebounds. $300,000 car, rebounds. Dead, this is your gift. Very true, sir. In plastics, new vehicle. Are you flowing or you've gone home? A week later, I'm sitting at my house. These are not people who are attending service like you sitting down there. No, I'm sitting in my house and, and around 12, someone called. So is that there? He said, yeah, yeah, he's here. A multi-millionaire. Never been to this church. <laughs> never been here. Never attended any of our services. Not one day. He said, yeah, he's here. But let me see if he can talk. I said, okay, give me the phone. I said, hello. I said, uh, can... Can I talk to your guys? They need to see someone. This is the number that they need to call now. They're given a number. Drive. They went there. Brand new car. No, you're not getting it. Just a few days ago, about three days ago, he came again, that same man. He said, um, uh, can your guys come? Or if you can't come, can you? Come oh, I'll send photos. Just choose one car in my whole garage. Just choose. So there are three that I knew. But if you don't want that one, you can take the other ones that are there. Just choose. The Rolls Royce, this uh, Lamborghini, uh, Ford, whatever. I said, choose one. Just take it. I, I did not expect this kind of jealousy, but this is something. That's why... I didn't expect this, these people to be this. Ah. Listen. Zacharias was serving as a priest from the order of Abia. And as he's serving, the angel came to speak to him. When the angel was speaking, the priest answered back, and his voice was taken. There is a location of silence. Peter himself 
tried to speak when Jesus was being transfigured, or as you call it, transfigured. And his voice was taken. Why? Jesus never answered back. Shall we build three? Jesus never replied. Because a certain location of silence, you don't need friends. But your secret is an understanding how to make that voice of God to be found in a hiding location. You are everywhere. That's where your problem is. Everyone knows your secret. If you say one day I'm going to be in secret, sit down here, just these 20 minutes don't disturb me. These five minutes don't disturb me. Do you know what I do? Every hour, I pray at least 10 to 12 minutes. Now, that doesn't mean to say when I pray other times, I don't pray other times. No, I thought of tithing my time. 60 seconds, 6 minutes. So why do I go for 12 minutes? Because I want to double tithe. So every hour I'm breathing has been prayed for. No, 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 no. See, see, six minutes can be difficult. Just six minutes. That's all you need. There is a song by Levi Angel. You know, this brilliant singer called Levi Angel. Now, <laughs> no. this brother sang a brilliant song called Angels. Where he's talking about he sees angels. He's seeing angels in every area, right? That song is about 5 minutes, 32 seconds. So I make sure that I play that song. Boom. And begin to pray. Why? I know when it finishes, I'm already on 5 minutes, 32 seconds. Then the other seconds, I'm just thanking him. La Rute Gizo. Father, I thank you. I thank you for answering my prayer. I thank you. I think I can go for 2 minutes. It doesn't matter. But that song guides me. Now imagine you can have a song maybe by Savannah which is six minutes. Brilliant singer too. Brilliant worshiper. Maybe here. Maybe by Brandon. Now. Brandon does his thing and boom. I know this is four minutes, three minutes. I join the two. When I pray every hour, I'm going to have these songs, two songs. They are going to amount to seven minutes. The moment it stops, I know. Halfway. Let's go. Before you know it, you no longer use those songs. You can just use them for, for just ambience in the spirit. That's it. If you do it without that backing, when you start, you will be so bored. You will do one minute and check your time thinking it's seven minutes. Have you ever done it? I know you. Have you ever done a situation where you are praying? And you think you have done 30 minutes. You check the time. It's seven seconds. I know. I know I've got witnesses here. <laughs> Prophetess couldn't do hours. One time, I took her with one of our leaders to what is called 47 Empire Street. I went there. I said, I, I manage the time. We just pray. We prayed, 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 and after we prayed, I said, yeah, we have done, now we have done one hour. Then when we did three hours, do you know how many hours we had done? Nine hours. I was lying to you that we had done three hours. It was now the outside light was now coming in. It's like, uh, if we did three hours, I said, if I, do, if I told you we have gone for four hours, your body would have said, ah, this is a lot now. We went for nine hours. Why? Because I kept on saying, yeah, 30 minutes now. After we had done two hours, 30 minutes. You see, you start with love tongues. I told you before. I told you, you can't just go like, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. relax now. They are, they are, they are intimate tongues. Love affair tongues with the Lord and Savior. <laughs> then there are machine gun tongues. When the war is hot and you can't lose the battle, 
and the enemy has to know he's not going to get you, you are going to get him. I speak to somebody under the influence of my voice. You will win no matter what. The enemy has already lost. Hey! Sit down. I'm about to finish. Trust me. I'm about to finish. Isaiah 45, verse number 15. Verily thou art a God who hidest himself. <laughs> you are a God who hides himself. So if God is found in a hiding location, you should be hiding. The problem is don't hide. You are everywhere. Every party you are there. You can't wait for Friday. You are the thank God is Friday kind of human being. We, when, when Friday comes, we get so irritated. People are resting. Why? Why do you need rest? Aliko Dangote sleeps only four hours. The richest black man only sleeps four hours. You, the poorest black woman. Twelve hours. Twelve. Tofiakwa. Five a.m. You are still sleeping. Eight a.m. You are still sleeping. Do you know this? The thing we call stock market. That's where they decide your life. They are opening. At 7.30, they are already up. You, you are still dreaming. As if it's a nice dream. No, you are ch being chased by some. <laughs> My brother will tell you here. When we were growing up, there was a location there. Our parents did not want us to go there. They told us there was a thing called a dundundu. Even you, by hearing this word, you're like, no, I'm not going there. Why? Dun -dun -dun. I call that the dun -dun -dun effect. When something is just told you, you, you know there is something right there. Imagine you go into your house today and there are no lights. Do you know you can't even enter your own house? You'll be like, uh, torch. As if you're going to do anything if you make a dun -dun -dun. <laughs> Do you see our visualization is always of evil? Imagine if you start visualizing angels. You go to your house and there are no lights. You say, welcome home angels. You are here? Yes. Now, you, your own house, the one you left, you can't even end up peacefully. You have no prayer. There is nothing you did in secret. Everything is painful. To get a job, you need prayer. To get a car, you need to fast. To get even a woman, 24 days of fasting. <laughs> After that whole prayer, you get a witch. Anyway. Anywhere for the woman, you get a wizard. <laughs> so why? It is in secret locations. Why is you're just discussing with God that God tells you, no, not that location. Don't go there. No, that woman should not be the one. Ah. Say, thank God for my ex. I know you are sitting next to your married one. You told him that uh, she, he's the first one. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Right now is the time to tell the truth. Thank God for my ex. <laughs> Billy Graham's wife said, I thank God that I failed in relationships. I would have married the wrong man seven times. She was ready. She said, this one is the best boyfriend. This one would be my best husband. That one broke her heart. The second one broke her heart. The third one broke her heart. The seventh one. Eighth one became Billy Graham. 
You are complaining. You are even coming for prayer now. Everyone leaves me. Everyone. It's an advantage. I said it's an advantage. There is another one that is about to come. That one. That one. I said that one. That one is a real one now. That one. Thank God they left you. You were too available for everyone. Now in the secret location, there is a man from a secret location. Resabaya. Balabaya. I don't know. I don't know where. I don't even have money. Ask Kenel Sanders, the founder of KFC. Only in his 60s did he start getting that money. A man of God, I don't know what's happening. I'm now 40. <clears throat> Do you know Samuel O. Jackson? It is in his late 40s he got his first deal. You are 33, you think you are bewitched. There is no witchcraft that is greater than the power of God in me. Not one. If you are here and you are part of this commission, there is no witch that is bigger than me. Never. No witch bigger than the prophet of God. Never. Do you know where I was born? Zimbabwe African Killers Association, Zaka. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> but when we are in Zaka, we even fear the people in Chipinge. <laughs> If you are a witch in Zaga, they will say, yeah, yeah, you got it from Chipinge. They are not getting me at all. Are you flowing? I've seen too many things. There is a man my brother can tell you. Not this, this, this magic you do here where there are special effects, this man would gouge his own eyes and put them out like this and they would be dangling here like this. No special effects on the streets in Zaka. We have seen the man with our own eyes. I believe it was, you took us, right? To the police camp in Zaka. Were you there? No, you, who, who were we with? He, he was the one who took us, I believe, there. Yes, sir. And we went to the... It's already fenced. Where that witch that was popular, the popular witch came to, the, to drop his own merchandise, yes, his sir. tools of the trade, at the police station. And he said, I want, them, I want to leave here. They, 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 were, they were thinking it's a joke. They said, what can you do? He said, just point at any tree. It will be hit by lightning now. They pointed at one tree. He went there, circled it, said some few enchantments, and then went back and stood away with the policeman. <laughs> and he yes, said sir. his mumbo jumbo there. And lightning came, whoop, struck the tree. Half is dry, half is still. To this day, it's there. He yes, took us there. there. We went there. And when we entered the police location, do you know what happened? The policeman said, oh, I know why you, you are here. You want to see the tree? <laughs> I was sitting in the yes. back. They were not even realizing I was there. It's Zaga police station. We took the, the, the pictures. You were playing. You think, you think this thing that we are doing spirituality is a joke. Oh my God, you don't understand. You don't understand. There is a real power. Sir, ma'am, there is a real power. But those people, why is it that you don't see them every day? They also have their secret location. Where they hone their skills. Ah! When Moses went there, 
He was transforming a stick into a snake. Snake. Guess what? They also dropped their own snakes. Do you notice there was no power to know who they were until Paul, by the Spirit, traveled back in time in the time of Moses and stood there as the competitions were happening. And he said, as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses. He got the names from the vocabulary of the Spirit. He got the name from the database. In the, old, ah, the men walked like this said, okay, let me get you the names of these witches and put them here. <laughs> they are men. That have seen a lot here. Women that have seen a lot. That if they are given an opportunity to speak, you will be like, no, this is a lie. Ma'am, sir, the people you are playing with in your family, you think they are no more people. Some of them, they have honed the skills to beat you up every time. Let me explain. Do you have a habit you can't control now? That means a stronghold has gotten in now. When it starts, it starts, listen to this, it starts as a habit. It starts as a habit. You just like, have you noticed that it can be one, one, one genealogy. All of you like slim women. The other ones, light in complexion. You can't do nothing. All light. If the person is no light complexion, no. It doesn't matter what character they have. No, are they yellow bone? No. All you are now looking for, yellow bone. You will search for that yellow bone for life. Your uncle who made a yellow bone, your brother yellow bone, this one yellow bone, it will continue like that. No character is being searched for, only complexion. Two months down the line, the photos have been taken. Now you're in a prayer line. I don't know what to do with that woman. The devil has tricked you into sidelining what is important because he knows you have a calling and that calling he wants to remove it. You have a truncated calling. Are you flowing with me? Some of you here, nobody in your family has ever made any money to talk about. Nothing. Can't even help you. Some of you have brothers that have actually made it. Sisters that have made it but they don't want to see you. You wonder why they can't even help you. They have even a good job. They help another cousin of yours that is not even related to you. It's for you the way they see you. No. You wonder what is really taking place. There are people that have actually sacrificed your name. Now. I was speaking to a man in London, uh, in Birmingham, after having finished our New Year's Eve. And a lady called them and said, where are you? He said, why are you asking me where I am? You have never asked me this question before. He said, no, 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 this is important. You have to answer. He said, no, I'm somewhere with someone. He said, that person you are with, tell us who that person is. He said, no, I'm not telling you. He said, okay, I need to confess. We went to a, to a voodoo man. Mentioned the country in Africa. Said as he was mentioning your name, he put water in a drum. We looked into the drum, and he took water. You know these African pots, the clay ones. He said he made us look in there. We used your photo, and he put a photo down here. And when we looked, your face was in there. So then he took needles for us to poke your photo said when that happened the face changed hear this said our own faces appeared in the water listen said we were not even wearing the clothes we were wearing 
So it wasn't our reflection. He said, it flipped. Your face moved and ours was now in there. So when he was trying, we screamed. He said, why? He said, this is our name you are piercing. He said, they, he said the, the food man looked in like this and saw our faces in there. He said, no, 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 no. This person is with somebody who is more powerful than what we are seeing here. I'm not doing it. That's when the man said, no, I'm, I attended the Exodus night. Now he was bored. Now he said, I, I was at the Exodus night. Then he started telling him, I'm actually with the prophet I was with in the Exodus night. We are here. We are just eating. We were not eating nowhere. But he was now adding some salt and sugar now. You are sitting there. There is power that's protecting you. But that same power is obtained in a secret location. What do you want God to do for you? I want to go to UK. Perhaps. To UK. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you written these tests that they write? No, not yet. So you want to write? Yes, I want to write. So what's the problem there? Money. How much money is this? About 800 to 100. 800 US dollars. Excluding the tickets. Give, give here now. Yes. Now. Listen. Listen. Thank you, prophet! Thank you! Is it not five days? Not five days. Yes. Yes, sir. testimony is now. I said your testimony is now. While you are sitting there, your testimony is when? Now. Is now. Are you, are you getting this? Yeah. Your testimony is when? Now. Your testimony is when? Now. Uh -huh. You might be sitting there. Yeah. You are wondering when yours is coming. Yeah. Imagine, this is not $20. Six hundred per month, two million, two point five, two point eight, twelve million, U.S. dollars. Your power should be coming from you. Don't worry about who was what, where, and where. Uh -uh. Yes, sir. Yes, this anointing does yes. not care about father or mother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I Doesn't. Sir. Huh? You are I've, hearing? Yes. Yes. I've dreamed with you. Otherwise, you will sit down like this and go like, ah, he is this. This one is this one. And they are not helping me. Very true, sir. Very true. No Let one me helps. tell you something. No one helps us, it doesn't matter. This is not political power. This is spiritual power. Very true, sir. Very true, sir. I'm here for you. Help us, my father. Don't worry. Your situation is easy. Okay? Do not worry. There are people who will begin to try and come back. Amen. Huh? Very true, Dad. Don't worry. Amen. Do not worry. Amen. The Lord ministered to me that it shall be that even those who left you or begin to look for your number Amen. to try to come back. Amen. Thank you. Ah. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. If you are here in this house, let that testimony become yours. Amen. I ah. Let your amen thunder like fire. Amen. Mm. It is not a problem at all. Amen. So, the Spirit of the Lord will take you to locations yes. 
Yes. That even you, you never thought you would get to. I'm ready. I'm ready to do. So the Lord ministered to me something. He said, it shall be your choice to go or not to go. Oh, yes. I'm ready. Because I saw it. That they were preparing like this. And the flight was about to leave. It was about to go. Even you as you're watching. Whatever country you put your heart to. Oh, yes. It shall be done. Imagine they want to make you write English. Yes. You already know English. Yes. <laughs> and you pass everywhere. That was my favorite subject and my best subject. That was your favorite subject? Yes. What is in subject, this one? English results. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Imeja. I speak by the authority of the Spirit. Yes. Nobody shall stop you. Amen. For the trouble you suffered. Amen. I... This woman has gone through a lot. Yes. Better Another person just came. Oh, yes. Said, I love you. Yes. A child. Yes. Then that leave. Is... Oh. I'm seeing this is a baby girl. Yes. She's, she's a baby girl. She's five years old. And the father left two years. The father left. Yes, that is. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. In the spirit. The angels are already waiting for you. Amen. Amen. You are, you, you are unsettled. Even in your house, you are unsettled on your own like this. Yes. But the Lord ministered to me as you go home. Because I was with the angels standing here. Yes, and the God. angels took me to a certain location. Yes, man of God. Para secuna. And the angel took me to a certain location. And I sent here. And the angel picked me from here. And I traveled into the city center. And I went as if I was going to Masingo. When I got to a certain place called Buzi, the Lord said, walk back. Ah, he said, go back. And I saw waterfalls. And the angels are waiting in main way meters. I stay in main way meters. That's where you stay. That's where you stay. Yes, Barase Kobaya. Yes. You are a prophet. She stays in main way prophet. Maligo Shayekomai. The angels of the Lord are waiting for you there. Yes. As you get home, you will sense an environment that is already changed. I it shall be sharp shifted. There is I no, no more anxiety. Amen. Ah! Listen. Come here. Now. This is already written. It's written, oh, Alfred. Is, that, is this the name of this person? Yes, yes, it's not a prophecy. I'm seeing it written. Does he come to this church? Yes, yes. He yes, comes to this yes, church. He's here, prophet. He's here. Uh, he's here. Yes. The husband, husband of wife. Please, husband of wife. Come. Okay, he's, oh, okay, he's doing something. Okay, okay, okay. The Lord ministered to me that because of you, yes. there are going to be sh changes. Oh. Because I saw oh. Oh. it was like the spirit was moving in the family. Oh. 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 Thank you. And because of your prayers, something has already been taken and removed out of this family line. And the Lord ministered to me that you love prayer. This is the only thing you rely on. Yes, yes, man of God. Whatever problem you face, it's only prayer. Yes, yes. So for you to know, God knows your husband. Because if I mention your husband, I've already seen the name. My Melissa. My Melissa, she's it's my husband's sister. Barate, if you want to say. My Melissa is the husband's sister. The Lord said, for you to know, I know your husband, my Melissa. Oh. Oh. 
Zereta lash kumra evro taiga. When did I prophesy to you before? 2013. 2013. 2013 Where do you stay? Zambia. Zambia. Wow. And what's happening now in Zambia? Uh, it's miracles are happening. Signs miracles are happening. Going to South Sudan. You're going to South Sudan now? Yes, Dad. A result of prophecy. Thank you, Dad. Yes. Just understand that the secret to all of God is all of you. I receive. The secret to all of God is all of you. I receive that. If you I want receive. all of God, he will demand all of you. I receive, daddy. I receive. You see, why power is, is just in a few hands, a symbol. The reality is God is demanding all of you, not half of you. So you have 20% power, it's because you gave him 20% of you. Pastor yeah, Chopra, tell us. Let the power be with you. Increase in every way. In the name of Jesus. Increase. You shall move. You shall change things. I receive. You shall change things. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost.
A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction and always worth hearing.